In this problem, we're being asked to divide using synthetic division. So the first step when you're using synthetic division is to take this number here and change the sign. You can put a little bracket here like this. The next step is to write down the coefficients of the top part here. Now you'll notice that there's some pieces missing. This is really x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 2. So we're missing powers of x. So basically you want to fill them in with zeros, right? You don't have an x to the fourth, you don't have a squared, and you don't have an x. So you want to replace them. To make it a little bit more clear, I'll write it here. x to the 5 plus 0x to the 4 plus x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 2. This makes it a little bit more clear so you see. So these are the numbers that you're going to want to use. And there's a 1 here, so it's 1, 0, and then there's a 1 here. So 1, and then 0, 0, and then negative 2. Really easy to mess up. It's super important to include these zeros, right? Otherwise, it won't work. So whenever you're missing any powers of x, you do have to fill them in, okay? That's like super, super important. Okay, let's go ahead and do the synthetic division now. So the very first step in synthetic division after you do this, when you start the process, is to take this number and just bring it down. So 1. So just write it down. Then you start the process. 1 times 1 is 1. And then you add 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then you do it again. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. You add and you get 2. 2 times 1 is 2. You add and you get 2. 2 times 1 is 2. You add and you get 0. This is the remainder. So this is the remainder. And so now we can write the answer down. Okay. The answer is going to be, well, let me write this piece down again just to show you. This is x to the fifth plus x cubed minus 2 over x minus 1. This is equal to, so this piece here is going to give us the quotient. And the trick is, you always start at 1 less. Okay, you have a 5 here, so this is going to be x to the 4th. So it's 1 times x to the 4th, plus 1 times x cubed, I'm not writing a 1, plus 2 times x squared, plus 2 times x, plus 2, plus the remainder, which is 0, over the divisor, which is x minus 1. This is called the quotient right here. This is called your quotient. The answer is always quotient plus remainder over divisor. I hope this video has been helpful.